This is the Speedience Gym Monster. The Speedience Home Gym comes right out of the box, pretty much assembled. I had some extra help from a friend, Jay, but I could have done it all alone. The only thing I had to put together was this bench that I am sitting on. It is a flat bench. Before we start, I just want to let you know that this machine was sent to me for free. They are having 15% off of this purchase on their website. The description is below. If you use the code SWOLE OFF, you get an additional 120 off. I get nothing for any sales made and I am not affiliated in any way, shape or form with the company. I'm just doing a video and wanted to share with you my first experience. Now, if you want to see a more comprehensive video of me using this machine, I will do that in about a month once I get some actual usage. And so if you have anything you want me to talk about as you are watching this video, leave a comment below. I will read that and incorporate your comments in that video and try to answer everybody's question and make sure that you understand what you're buying and getting yourself into. In the crate, you get this flat bench that I'm sitting on. You also get a pad that fits on the platform that you will be standing on and doing your exercises. With this, you have a remote that controls the device for powering on and off the weight, as well as increasing or decreasing the weight by scrolling through with this nifty button. I like it. <laughs> For the accessories, you have two ankle straps used to do any leg movements that require the weight to be around your ankles, like high knees, for example. Two handles to simulate dumbbells. <laughs> yeah, 29 kilos is good for me. A squat belt that is used for squatting on this machine. It also comes with an extender that you can use if you are a bit taller and you want to um, have a certain feel of the weight it felt pretty good but i'm 5'8 so i didn't really need it you get a rope for doing rope type exercises and, then... and you also get a barbell this is very unique because the barbell has holes on it to allow you to move the weight to wherever you want it to be either further outside or closer to your center of gravity and there is a swivel to where the barbell connects to the cable that allows you to maintain a really nice form when doing exercises like the bicep curls where your forearm is pointing in the positive x direction and as you curl the weight up you are now in the negative x direction it's actually really useful uh, not many companies provide you with a rotating bar for movements such as that and also when you're doing your squats there's going to be a little bit of movement in there given that the fact that this is cable and so having that bar able to adjust is going to prevent the bar from rotating as you are doing your exercises and then lastly you get a pad that you can use for hip thrust or if you have any neck issues and you want to use the pad on your neck for squatting that's what it's for and then finally you have d rings here to use with any external cable accessories you might already have or you might want to buy and trust me you want every single accessory you can that is like adding another machine for the price of an accessory. Jumping right into the features of this machine, you have three modes to choose from. At the very middle, you have custom, all workouts, and free lift. In the free lift mode, at the very bottom, you have partner mode. This is not what I thought it was. Now, essentially, it allows you to control each unit of the weight separately. When I first had this with Jay, we thought this is how it's meant to be, as in, you're going to go first and then I'm going to go after you and do the same exercise. But that was not the case. And what ended up happening is we had the weights on separately. And so when you activate one, the other is activated and you're using like a barbell type movement or even a squat movement, there's going to be some really funny movement uh, mo <laughs> movements there, which did occur to us. Oh my God, you can't feel it. I love this. That is pulling on one side. Yeah, I don't know why. Because this one, this one, this one, this side, 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 this if you are doing your bench press and you need the display to flip, that is available to you. Up top on that, you have the assist mode. This is meant to be a spotter. I'm going to try out assist mode too. 
on the bench press just to see how well this thing performs. I have to weigh that 100 pounds in case it's too much for me. And what I'm gonna do is a few reps here and then I'm gonna stop halfway through as if I'm struggling. Like, oh my God, I can't do anymore, oh my God. Notice how the weight is turning off. Well, it, it's, it's lowering to where it becomes so easy. And once it's lower, it's pretty much stopped because the machine assumes that you are at your breaking point and you cannot lift anymore. Now, if I were to turn it off, okay, turn it back on, there's another feature where if you have one side too low, it rapidly begins to drop the weight, assuming that something happened to you. Um, this is a really nice feature that it also is able to do for you. And 30 pounds is pretty easy to rest on my chest. And if I need to, I can just stand back up and I'm ready to go. Above that, you have the accessory selection. This is only available with the partner mode turned off. It lets the machine know that you're using two separate handles and the barbell lets the machine know that you're doing both handles at, at a time and so the weight is added up. Where in barbell mode, you can go up to 220 pounds because that's the total. And then if you go to dumbbell mode, the machine tells you that hey, each handle has 110 pounds. So you know. For the style of weight that is applied to the cable, you have the standard mode. This is standard? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Standard is good. It's, it's nice and smooth. Yeah. The weight displayed on the screen is going to be the weight continually throughout your whole exercise. And so some exercises, because of your momentum, the weight feels a lot different at different stages of the movement. But using this machine, the weight is going to feel like 50 pounds throughout the entire range of the motion, allowing you to hit every fiber of that muscle through all of the motion that it's going through for that exercise. Next to that, you have chain mode. The way how chain mode works is you select your weight and through the additional weight feature, you can add how much additional weight. And as you can see, if you increase the weight, the amount of chain is decreased and vice versa. I'm going to activate chain mode for the bench press, turn off the assist mode. My weight is going to be 87 pounds and I'm going to add an additional 50 pounds of chain that is going to be variable. Let me get into position for you to show you exactly how this works. Live demo. And so I'm activating the weight with the remote. It's turned on. And now I'm going to press the weight, and as I complete my rep, you notice how the weight gets heavier towards the top of my rep, and I can feel it happening. So this is a very nifty feature to have. You have eccentric mode after that, almost the same as chain mode. It works exactly the same. You have your eccentric additional weight load that you can add and then you have your regular load of weight that you can add to that. Try a uh, eccentric. Oh! Uh, oh. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm going down and it's pulling. It's trying to pull it down. I'm going to activate eccentric mode and perform a bicep curl. My weight is going to be 50 pounds and the eccentric load is going to be 25 pounds. This blue thing right there. And uh, we're going to activate the weight with the remote. All right, now it's on. Notice how when I am curling the weight at the top, it is at its lightest versus at the bottom. And so when I'm going down, the machine is actually pulling the bar down by adding more load. And I am trying to resist that load by maintaining the constant speed that I'm used to when doing a bicep curl. And you can see how effective this can be in certain exercises like this. For example, highly effective for your bicep. I'm working out that eccentric portion of the bicep curl, you're gonna get a nice pump there in your biceps and other muscles, of course, whatever you use it for. <laughs> and then finally, you have fixed speed. So, like, wait, wait, the harder I try to push, the more weight that it has to make sure because, because it just wanted to, to go slow. Yeah, to make sure that I'm not speeding up. That's crazy.
this is going to allow the machine to keep the speed of the rep about the same and so if you are going too fast through a movement it will add more weight so that your speed is not going above the set amount that you have i think this is a great feature for beginners who want to work on their form and don't know how fast or slow they want to go in a certain exercise this is going to keep it to where hey you can push as hard as you want but it's going to be safe for you to where you can still work out the muscles and still have a great contraction overall now that we've gone through free mode understand that there are selected exercises here and i get the feeling that the way they designed it is meant to be a personal trainer but there really is no feedback that you get you only get pre-recorded videos and tutorials on how to do certain movements as well as getting the benefit of having an app that you can put in your custom workouts and track your progress over time. Now in the custom mode, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already subscribed. <laughs> now, but yeah, when you go in there, you can have a full list of exercises to choose from. Um, just click add at the bottom, it'll add it to your custom workout. And what's nice about this is for the people who don't know what to do, really, you get a full picture of the muscles that are being targeted. And so you can set up your workout to where you can target a specific muscle on a specific day and allow the muscles that are been targeted to recover appropriately over time. I think that's a great feature to have for beginners and i will be trying that out later so keep a lookout for additional videos that i make again there's gonna be a lot with the software on these devices and i need to be able to use them before i can really get a good review video out for you and let you know just how good it is overall at the middle all workout is pretty much all of the pre-recorded workouts that are available on this machine as of date since i checked last time there have been more added and i feel like they are going to add even more as time progresses. this is something that i'm going to have to go through and review for myself and see how good they are but at a first glance they are pretty straightforward the name of the workout and the muscles targeted are showing to you to where you say hey i want to target my shoulders say less we got you and it walks you through a full list of exercises that you can choose from to get that done one of the other features that i wanted to go through today was the fact that this machine tracks your progress over x amount of time so i am here in the data center where all of the exercises that you do, the weight and the volume is given to you. And so you can get a sense of how much volume you have done per muscle group. And it's all shown here in your body overview, as well as how much time you spent working out and how much calories you have burned. So if you have an Apple Watch, which I know they have an app for this uh, machine, you can sync the data with your Apple Watch, especially if you are tracking your step throughout the day and get a complete profile of your daily and weekly exercise uh, metrics if that's what you want to do and track your progress. And if you're also tracking your food, this is nice to have as well. One good thing that I did see is that each of the holes are labeled. I know I personally have trouble, not trouble, but like whenever there's a machine and I have to change what holes <laughs> I'm doing each exercise on. I have to like count by hand, but with this, I can just look at it. Oh, R4. All right, cool. Let's go to L4. Call it a day. I'm going to try to do more videos just of specific workouts and really give you a chance to see how I review products over the course of a month or so. And then finally, when all of that is done, I will make a review video giving you the pros and cons of my use case with this machine and i hope you enjoyed this video so far make sure to subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content and check out my other video yes check out my other video <laughs> please uh, <laughs> i'll be happy if you do and subscribe but yeah your own personalized trainer well digital trainer that is the whole impression that i got and i'm not gonna lie it's kind of nice it's nice yeah i enjoyed it but hey so that I don't ramble on, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I will talk to you later.